Hey everybody, this is Kevin Hoda from StigmaSearch.com where we protect brands online by removing counterfeit listings or any listings that infringe on your uh, intellectual property. So here we got um, two otter boxes right here. One's real, one's fake. This is the real one on my right, uh, left side. Fake one's on the real. Uh, sorry. This is the commuter for the iPhone 5. Now, uh, the, the, iPhone, the iPhones are usually the most look-alike for the counterfeits, they match it almost perfectly. So there's only a couple key differences. Actually on the front, there's only packaging and stuff, there's only one difference. And it's going to be hard to see. But I'm going to show you the old ways of telling. The old way of telling, of course, it was to look at the little otter animal. Uh, these two are the same, but fake ones... Where did that case go? Fake ones are much darker however all new fake ones these days match them so in the event that it's darker you might have gotten an older counterfeit so that's easy way to tell uh, in case you didn't so another way it tells of course this gray bar uh, real ones are it's kind of hard to see even in, in person so that's real that's fake as you can tell I don't know if you could tell yeah, in person or not, I mean, from watching this, but it's, it's extremely hard even in person. Now, at the bottom, there's two ways, however, the counterfeit ones, uh, they're slowly catching on. Uh, you got about a 50-50% chance. Uh, fake ones are usually bold on the right side. Disregard what you see on the left side. On the right side, the fake ones are usually bolded, such as this one right here. See how that's bolded font? Fake ones are usually bold, however... Some of them are and some of them don't, so you can't count on that all the time. Another way of checking the course is enter the UPC. Now, as you can tell, the real one's different from the fake one. Uh, you enter this fake one right here, it'll lead to a different product, and that's one way to tell. Other than that, the packaging is exactly the same. Uh, even these fancy holograms are. So, now we're going to go... Man, okay. Sorry, I got confused which one was real and a fake one for a second. So now we're going to go inside and check the casing in the event you didn't get real to the packaging. But as I was saying, counterfeit ones are so realistic, it's insane. As a matter of fact, well, let me just open this. Oops. So as you can tell, back is the same, the sides are the same, the top, the bottom, the sides. Oh man, I already got confused. So here's a real one. Sorry, I got confused for a second. Anyway, so there's only one difference, and it's hard to see. But there is a difference. It's probably impossible unless you have a side by side comparison like this video. But this is the real one. I'm gonna first that one first. Now notice how sharp and indent by indent I mean how far it's engraved into there. See, look at that. This is the real one. And yes, folks, real ones do have damage. See, that's a that right there is a stain on there. This these are real, so don't try to look for damage. Now this is the fake one. See, it's not as sharp, but it's still there. So let me just show these two side by side. So that's not lighting you see there, guys. That's just a font. As you can tell, the fake one, which is on the right side, is not as sharp. So, so I'm just moving these with the light so you can tell, but just look at the difference. Look at where it says China on the real one on the left side, and then look at China here. Perhaps that's easier to see as China. So you look at that. And then look at that. Much more sharper on the real one. So, so I've been saying in each of these videos I'm making, the counterfeit ones, especially for anything that Apple makes, are very, very realistic. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Kevin from StigmaSearch.com.